final destination. Esme? One second, guys. I just need to check something really quick. Any news about your dad? I still can't believe your dad took Ace like that. I let my father take Ace. And I even delayed telling Esme so that I could give them a bigger head start. She called me Spence. Which she hasn't called me since this past New Year's when she washed up on the deck of the Haunted Star. And just her attitude, I don't know. She's, she's different. She's, the things that she's saying is a lot sharper. Is it Trina's leaving that's troubling you? Or the fact that Spence is going with her? Well, I, I, I think I've learned to accept the fact that Trina can make her own decisions about her life. She's a, a young lady, uh -huh. and she's decided that Spencer is a part of that life. Okay, fine. But I can't stop thinking about all the turmoil that seems to follow Spencer wherever he goes, right? This May got her memories back. When did that happen, Heather? Night of Christmas Eve. She went back to Windermere, where your horrible criminal son held her prisoner for months and months. And, you know, I guess it just brought it back for her. You know I'm the mayor. You don't think that I'm going to go straight to the PCPD? Oh, I know you will. And then they will put her here in Pentonville, where she belongs, with her mother. So yeah, we do need proof because if this thing goes to trial and Esme is somehow able to convince a jury that she is innocent, then that's it. We get one shot at this. I've been waiting for the real Esme to show herself. I'll get you proof. You guys just need to focus on going to Paris. Do not let Esme take that away from you. Thank you, Joss. Yeah, thank you. Just please be careful, okay? Because Esme is not going to give up Ace lying down. You gotta know that she's planning something. Like what? I don't know. Nothing good. She is hell-bent on revenge. Revenge against who, Heather? Laura, take your pick. I mean, any number of people that have wronged her. But if I was to speculate, I am pretty certain that Spencer and Trina are at the top of her hit list. Thank you for including me in the party. Oh, um, the party was actually... Curtis's idea. Oh. I want you to know how important Trina's happiness is to me as well. Yeah, I, I don't really doubt your feelings for Trina. It's just that you're no stranger to trouble. And I don't want trouble finding Trina. Here or in Paris. I have to focus on the future. On, on my son and getting him back and doing whatever it takes to keep him with me. Uncle Kevin, I'm not falling for that. You can save your pity for Spencer and Trina. We don't need to take another test. <laughs> what exactly do you want me to do, Heather? I'm really worried that she's going to get herself into much worse trouble if she goes after Spencer and Trina. I need to save my daughter from herself. Please, Laura, find Esme. Find my daughter and stop her before she does something horrible. Trina and Spencer. Much love and best wishes on your exciting new adventure. Trina and Spencer. Trina and Spencer. I'm very excited to put the past behind us. Great. And I'm really, really looking forward to our future. On the next General Hospital. I thought you'd be the perfect man for the job. We found something that might help the defense. Are you offended that I might win? And when you're ready, you can try again. What's the mission? Should I choose to accept? We've got to arrest her before she does something terrible. Do you know something that I don't know? 